changes to the team that lost to Midema at Takwa in the last game they played and in those three matches for this home encounter they have against Kotoko. Dreams FC kickoff. They're wearing a resplendent red and black jersey over black shorts. And the Porcupine Warriors are in their away colors today, the yellow strip. Field attempt at the ball at ball control from versus just one win to show for the effort. Yeah, and they are the only team in the Ghana Premier League with lots of draws. Four draws so far. No team has managed to. Legon City's switch into the 18-yard box. It will be the first save. Free kick to Cities. It's a long one into the 18. And Jonah Tukwe, if you give him those pockets of spaces, he will run at you and can strike from afar as well. Brilliant control. And there you saw the shove at the back. And that was from Sharif Mohammed. Not that on target. Rather headed out nicely by Maxwell Ajiman. Legon City is formerly known as War All Stars. And those were the days they used to worry the Porcupine Warriors a lot. Kotoko come up with an opportunity. They will get a corner kick. Fans are here today as corner kick is swung in. Kayeke could not latch to that. George was also lurking around. It's a missed opportunity. For Kotoko. Yeah, it was a delicious corner kick. There you see the game from Moru. Well swung in. But they're looking for the connection. Maxwell Ajiman. There you look at that cross again. And Moru with a very delicious cross into the 80 yard box. Their goalkeeper in an area where he feels very comfortable. That was a magnificent. Those tricky Kotoko forwards. I took away with the cross. Dealt with by Daniel. Field attempt at the clearance and the shot on target. It will roll over nicely. No problem. Nicely by Joseph Ejiege. He doesn't go too far. This is Lamte. Lamte to the far side. And Mankuna. Not too well at, uh, across. Back Kotoko. Still putting tabs on the opponent. This is Frank. And it's the first goal for Kotoko. And against the round of play, the man who has not done or shown anything in this game get to score is Frank Kimbella. The Cameroonian connection is still making the magic for Kumasa Santi Koroko. But trust me, against the round of play, where was the defending? Lagos City should be defending better. Should be closing in on Frank Kimbella. And Kotoko here are in raptures, but good composure, great finish. And then Eric Oforenji beating. I mean here, we see the header. And look at the connection again. The header from uh, George. George's George Rodriguez with the header and straight there. The header and straight look at the composure from Frank and Bella. But poor defending from Lagos City should be and go. He was there missing target by inches. There again, the ball headed there by Joe J brought in to play and then it was dangling in very very rare to see him start a game from the bench for Portugal. Razak Abalora lost that completely. And Lagos Cities are back in the game. And it's Abdul Rahman with that header. Cheeky ease. Superb header. I mean, from that spot. Out of hand there on the field of play. But let's walk you through that again. Now, watch Razak Abalora come out. Yeah, very late. Rahman was clearly higher than him. Yes, and again, he was he was late in coming up. With what's been happening elsewhere. But here, it's Lagos Cities trying to get a second goal over Kotoko. Appeals for the uh, handball. Shot on target, a second opportunity is all fucked. As Kotoko cleared their lines out, they have a player down in the 18-yard box. But they're still coming forward now. Good turn. Unfortunately, that shot from Usman Amadu. Amadu. Who was threatening the Kotoko couldn't clear their lines. There again, the shot blocked. And Osman and the lines kept probing. And Kotoko. And challenge. The, the combination between this man, Osman Amadou, and Juna Tukwe. And Atukwe will whip one just across the face of goal. This is Atukwe. Can Atukwe go around uh, Ajiman? Well, he's got the better of him. The shot is fired on. Just look at the skill. And just look at the pass. Face off. And Moru 
the first control. Mudasiru, nicely done. Now caught up on the threshold of an attack now. Through the middle, this was good for George. What a gem. Just look at the pass. Just up. In yard box. In the haste to deliver. I'm sure he'd not even see where the ball was. But Lamte once again. Cross is good this time. It's deep. It goes out of play. Lovely pass once again by I don't know where. They flick the ball through now. It's a one on one situation. Kotoko in trouble. Nicely ball area. But uh, then out. Lamte. George in Figi. Ball brought down for Kotoko. Frank. Shot was blocked nicely. Cash pass and looks for Abdul Rahman. Gets him. Can Rahman go around this marker? He does. That's trouble. Oh, was a foot in there from uh, Mudasiru. <laughs> Again, Isaka deals with it nicely. Menun team. Opportunity now for the second goal. Isaka Balora made himself big. Appeals for the handball. Yes, referee was right there. Just look at the pass from the team, the former Wafa player there. And Moru online in place had all the opportunity to put the ball beyond the reach of goalkeeper Razaka Balora. One point in matches they've played. Yes, in team once again. In team drives a shot on target. Bounces off the chest of Razaka Balora. Yeah, to stop Moru from pouncing on the rebound. But in team, the former Wafa player, since he came on, has been superb. The shot bounced off just in front. But look at Ganiu, the quickest to react. Glad to get to, but he fights for it. Steven Amankuna would love to go down the byline. Saints in the decent cross, and that is the second goal for Kotoko. Amazing stuff there from Amankuna with, with that ball, brilliant strike. And then there you saw the header from Mbela, always lurking, always in a very good position. But the cross from Amankuna, super cross down the right side. But where was the defending? But it was that brilliant turn from Amankuna that did all the magic and then didn't waste any time with that in swinger, that cross met there by the striker in form, Frank Mbella. Super goal from Kotoko. We saw the long kick from the new there and uh, Isaka with a header, not well defended. But there you see Amankuna at it again. Look at the pace. And look at that cross. Brilliant header. I mean, against the run of play, that cross here, there seems to be no harm. But just look at when Amankuna got onto the ball, how quick he was with that cross and the vision excellently done. And just look at the finish. Yeah. Brilliant finish from Frank Mbella. Mike Lampedu, they have no options now than to push men forward. Mankuna sets up the pass. There's going to be a long run there. Safotela's pass was good. Cool.